And now do it five, a tribute to a trailblazing aviator. Students are getting a history lesson as they honor one of our legendary Tuskegee Airmen. Natasha Brown is in our satellite center with details of a new memorial. Natasha? Well, good evening to you. Students at a Wilmington Elementary School will now be able to learn more about the life and legacy of a man who was not only a member of the elite Tuskegee Airmen, but also an educator who shaped the lives of many students in Delaware. When young Christian Thomas sees this memorial to Fred T. Johnson, he sees pride and inspiration in a man who helped pave the way for him. When I see Fred T. Johnson, I think of him as an African-American black teacher, and I see that symbolizes all the black teachers in the world that had to fight to get here. The bust and memorial wall at Warner Elementary honors a man who holds a very special place, not just in Delaware's history, but American history as well. Mr. Johnson was a member of the Tuskegee Airmen, the only African-American navigator from Delaware to serve in World War II. He received a Congressional Gold Medal in 2013, but he was also an educator, a science teacher who taught Wilmington Mayor Mike Perzicki at what's currently Warner Elementary. And then come back home and be an educator in a school that was largely white at that time, if not all white. And he was, as a friend of mine who was in one of his classes, that the best teacher I ever had. Krishan Fitzgerald is the principal here and knows the Johnson family. She's proud her school was picked to honor a man whose legacy looms largely in the African-American community. For me, what makes Fred Johnson so special is that he's an African-American male educator. Uh, we find in our prof profession that only 2% of the profession is African-American male, where in the data that's opposite of that. It says that African-American males in the classroom make a huge impact. Students can now see a bust of Fred Johnson's likeness, pictures and memorabilia honoring his history-making life, all images of a man who defied the odds and broke down barriers. I want people to understand that here's an extraordinary guy who did not let society define him. Well, Mr. Johnson passed away in 2017, but of course his legacy will live on there at the school and in American history. Live in the Sat Center, Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Live on forever, indeed. Natasha, thank you.